That's it, we're done. Yo, hey, hey, this day definitely ain't going well, and young lady, you're going to need to get out of there, because I'm getting some real serial killer vibes here, that's all I'm saying, yeah, hey, all I'm saying, those are the vibes I'm getting, I'm not accusing them of nothing, but ah, ah I don't know, the vibes is off, I know the date definitely isn't going well, because Connor, or whatever his name is, is just a little bit too excited about that game. And then the whole little choking thing, nah, if you and my daughter be like, nah, get your ass out of there. This nigga's crazy. That's what that's what I would tell you. As a as a concerned father and and just as a concerned citizen, I just don't like the looks of this. And the young lady, I don't want to look up. I'm not saying this will happen, but I never want to look up on the news and you know the stories. You know the stories. And they go into his house and and they like, have you seen Sarah? You're like, no, I haven't seen her. I don't know. I We went on a date. Uh, the next thing I know, she left. And I've been calling her. I keep calling. Nobody picks up. And it turns out that Sarah has been in his deep freezer for the past three weeks. I don't want to see that. I'm not saying it's going to happen. This could be the nicest guy in the world. Who knows? But I'm just going off of these initial actions that I'm observing. This as a concerned citizen and just a concerned black man. This shit looks scary. You know, you know how you see brothers with dreads and shit, it might scare you. They're like how they scare me. These kind of white boys scare the fuck out of me too. So I'm not here to judge or to ridicule. I just want to say, get out while you can, baby. You should have just walked off and left his ass at the arcade. Matter of fact, y'all are at an arcade. I don't even know where they even have arcades. That's a that might be a bad sign there too. Just for him to be so caught up in the arcade. I would even give him some credit if he was on there playing one of them streaming games where they shooting and y'all on the PS5. I, I would have been like, yeah, y'all are just tripping, but y'all just out in the public like this and this type of behavior. No, I'm not gonna vouch for it. I don't think this is it. I don't think this is it. I want you to get out of here. And dude, I need you to call me because you might need some mental health counseling. And and I'm the person you need to talk to. All right? All right? Because I'm concerned about you as well. I don't want to see you go out doing nothing silly over a damn Pac-Man game. Whatever game you was playing, it wasn't that serious, bro. It was not that serious. Not for all that. So call me.